Want to make your Windows 11 taskbar look next level? In this video, I'll show you how to get a stunning glass taskbar effect using the Windows Glass theme. It's quick, easy, and will make your Windows 11 look absolutely amazing. Stick around until the end. As a bonus, I'll show you how to make your start menu and notification center completely transparent. You won't want to miss this. If you're loving this effect, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe for more Windows 11 customization tips. It really helps the channel. All right, let's jump in and start customizing your taskbar. Now, the first thing which you want to do is to go to this website. It's called windhawk.net. And once you're here, click on this download button and you should get this .exe file. Click on it and then just install this program. Click on OK here, next, and then click on yes on the admin prompt. And uh, then you can just click next and install. By the way, guys, if you need a brand new wallpaper, I made a brand new wallpaper pack, which will take your desktop to a whole new level. And you can check it out in the video description below. Now, Windhawk is a customization marketplace for Windows and programs. And now let me show you how to get a glass effect on your taskbar. So here, once you have Windhawk up and running, you will go here to the explore page on the right. And then here you will install this modification called Windows 11 Taskbar Styler. Just click here on details and then here click on install and then click here accept risk and install. Once you have it installed, let's go here to the settings and down below you will find theme options. Click on this and you should see here drop down. Scroll down down below until you see this last option called the Windows Glass. Click on here and then click on save settings. Now you should see here immediate change on your taskbar. It already looks okay and very nice. However, you can also see that it looks a bit clunky. So to fix that, you can go here to the explore page once again, go here and here you will find taskbar height and icon size. If you don't find it here on the explore page, you can just search for it here on top. Then here, go to details and click on install and then just wait for it to install. Now, once you have this modification installed, taskbar height and icon size, let's go here to the advanced tab and here down below, you will find mod settings. Now, this is where the actual magic happens for this program. And this is where you will have to go to this website. It's called github.com. And I'm also going to put this link in the video description down below. Now, here it says under the note, in order to make the taskbar look better, it's best that you install the taskbar height and icon size mod and use the following setting for the mod. So you will click here. And now for this JSON content, you will click on this option to copy it. And then let's go here to the Windhawk and make sure that you put it inside here. So just like this, and then you will click on save. And now you can see here that the taskbar actually got bigger and it's also showing the proper icon sizes here for the Windhawk, Edge and also the start menu button. So yeah, right now the taskbar is actually fixed and I think that it looks super, super nice. Now with this modification, what it's actually also extra is that you can see here this glass effect on this window arrangement option here on top. Now we can also see this brand new glass effect using here on top using this arrangement tool as well. So I think it looks super, super well with this taskbar modification. Now, where you will also find this glass effect on Windows is also here on the volume control as well as here on the screen brightness control. So yeah, these are some of the additional UI tweaks using right now Windows Glass theme. And I think it looks super, super nice. Now, if you want to make your taskbar and also notification center transparent, you will go here to the Windhawk. Let's go here to the Explore. And here you will search for Windows 11 Start Menu Styler. Just click on Details here and then just click on Install once again. And now click on Accept Risk and Install. By the way, guys, if you are enjoying this type of content, make sure that you smash up the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Now, once you have this modification installed, so Start Menu Styler, go to Settings here. Under the theme, you will find this option called Translucent Start Menu. Click on it and then here down below, disable the new Start Menu layout. You can also enable this and then here click on Save Settings. 
And now when I open here the start menu, it should also look super transparent with this really nice theme applied to it. Now here, if I go to the control center, we can also see here that the notifications are still the default ones. So here, let's go to the Windhawks. Let's go here to the explore page. And here you will search for Windows 11 notification center styler. Here, click on details and click on install. Now, once you have this modification installed, go to the settings and here under the theme, you will find this option called translucent shell. Click on save settings and now you are pretty much done. Now, if we go here, you can see here that the notification center is also transparent with its this calendar as well. Now, if I open this, you can also see here that we have also this panel transparent and I think it looks super sick. Now let's go here to the taskbar settings. We can also here add this option, which is search. Let's add here this one search icon and label. And let me show you how this icon here actually looks like. We can see here this brand new button here in the middle. Let's click on it. And this is how it actually also animates. I think it looks super, super nice. And we can also see here that this glass effect or this transparent effect is also here added to the preview of the windows, which I think it's also a bonus and it looks super, super nice. Now, in the case, if you don't want to use any more all of these themes, one thing which you will have to do is to right click here on the Windhawk and uh, click on the exit button. And then here you can click on exit Windhawk, click yes on the admin prompt. And now you can see here that everything actually reverted back to the normal. Now, the last thing to do is pretty much to remove Windhawk from your computer. Go to the settings, go to the apps and here go to the installed apps. And on this list, you will search for the Windhawk, which is right here. Click on the three dots and then click on the uninstall. It's that easy to uninstall Windhawk from your computer. Now, in my personal opinion, this modification is totally worth using for its looks and also very nice UI. I think it looks super impressive what Windows actually can do with this third-party application, Windhawk. Now, if you enjoyed this video, leave a thumbs up down below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and make sure that you check out the wallpaper pack in the video description down below. Have an amazing rest of your day and uh, I will see you all around in the next video.